We have an iPhone 7 here that is, let me get this picture out of the way, um, stuck at 1%. See that? See that? Stuck at 1% charging. Uh, it's pulling 0.13 amps on the ammeter. And I'm going to show you how to fix this. So it looks like somebody's already tried to replace to fix this thing. This is actually an iPhone 8, sorry. Um, and it looks like somebody's already tried to replace this thing. So just right off the bat, I can see that there's a missing um, there's a missing transistor, and a, and this diode is is not looking too great. So those are most likely the issues with this phone. And um, it would have been helpful if he told me that he had worked on it, but he did not say that so so that kind of sucks okay so let's just put this back and let's see what happens I uh, just kind of hate that they already worked on it and didn't say anything that's not good right there is this a resistor or what is this is this even intact no not even no not too good I don't even know what this is okay so there's a little bit of thing there um so let's just let's uh, let's just work on this, man. I mean, this is dumb, but I wish they would have told me about this. I'm gonna before I burn these connectors, I should probably tape them down with some cap on. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna tape these down. I actually wanna burn them with my iron. Um yeah, this looks diseased, so let's find out what it is, what component value it is. <sighs> Let's see if we can fix it. I, you know what? I don't think it's going to tell me what component it is actually. So it's probably this one. Which we're we're going to have to go to eight iPhone eight to see if we can find out what it is. I think. Maybe I might be able to use that one, but that does not look good. It's probably gonna be one of. Let's see, damn it! I have no idea what it is. Maybe this one. Point one microfarad. I might just leave it off, or I might try to put this one back, which may be what I'll try to do. Although, you know what, I do, no, I don't have any 8, I have one 8 board, which I guess, one 8 donor board, which I guess I could probably take it from, but let's see if this works real quick before I give up on it. I mean, this definitely does not look good, but maybe it'll, maybe it'll be okay. I mean, it's like broken and everything, uh, it's not good. It's probably not even really needed, so, but I'd rather put it back if I could. So that's back in business. Let's let's get our transistor out. Well, that's not really back in business yet, but yeah, that's not good. I should probably replace this thing. Um, if I can find a value of it, then I'll put it back. If not, then I'll just leave it. That's not good. Okay. Um. So let's tin this a little bit. Okay, tend that. Um, we're gonna get our transistor out and put it back, and hopefully that'll work. Um, yep. All right, so I have my transistor there, which I'm gonna put on, but I need to figure out what 
what is um which one this is okay so when I look at the iPhone 8 schematics right you can see that this 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 pin right here on the transistor leads to the connector and then this pin right here leads to the other connector so I'm assuming that on the 7 it's gonna be the same so all I really have to do all I really should have to do is really just connect from I think it's probably this one so what I'm gonna do is diode mode I'm gonna figure out which one it is real quick and uh, so I'm gonna diode let's see this is probably ground so I'm gonna diode mode both of these this one's OL and then this one is 0.76 so I should be getting 0.76 here too which means that it is this pin right here that should be connecting to the bottom pin of this and and then everything else should be good okay hopefully um, I should probably just replace this diode too maybe but so here's my here's my transistor um, so let's just put let's just run the jumper from here to here uh, looks like he's okay I gotta make sure it doesn't short because it looks like it's got a lot of ground stuff in there he's put the green stuff ready so I'm gonna run a jumper from here to here and hopefully that'll fix everything um, hopefully that'll fix everything uh, let me just make sure that there's no other points connected on this line right here oh interesting so I wonder if maybe that's why because I have an iPhone right here 8 that's been sitting here forever now and I'm, just, I'm starting to think that maybe what was going on was that this diode is actually not connected here oh, no it is okay so okay so this is, this is connected okay okay that's fine sorry I'm just spewing stuff right now um let's just make sure it's not connected to any other point because sometimes you can't just run a jumper sometimes you know if that pad is connected somewhere else on the logic board then you need to make sure that there's a connection to the to, to all every point on the logic board so okay so it lo looks like it's only those three points so it looks like we're good so I'm just gonna put that transistor back and hopefully everything will be alright and the phone turns on and everything right now it's just stuck at 1% so the stuck at 1% is gonna be this issue right here for sure So, uh, um, I'm going to tin this a little bit, just make it a little bit easier to solder. Okay, so that's good. Um, and then what I'm going to do is run that little jumper. And I'm going to use shielded, pretty tough, tough wire here because um, I think that's better. I think I hope I'm not positive, but um, hopefully it doesn't cause too many issues. So may not be the best thing to use this freaking heavy wire shielded, but. I think it'd be okay. Okay, so that's heavy. And then I just need to tin the other side now, and I think we're good. I think this is probably one millimeter or something like that. One millimeter shielded wire. And I I'm I'm using shielded because it looks like there's some exposed traces that I don't really want to give up. And hopefully I can just go like that. The only thing is it's a little bit harder to bend and stuff. So you definitely want to make sure you tin it because uh, there's a, there's a coating on it, on it. Otherwise, it's not going to stay. Okay, so I think that's good. Um, now I'm going to stick my transistor and um, you really want to so uh, this speaker here tends to. Um, get messed up so I if I were you I would probably take it off I think that's probably the best thing so but I'm gonna take this speaker off here and I think it's like four or five screws or something like that I'm not even sure
Then I think I have to take these two off to... There's a cable that connects here. Or I might just be able to even... Whatever, I can just kind of scoop it up a little bit. So, last time I tore this thing, so I definitely don't want to do that. So let's, let's, let's maybe remove this first. See what we can do here. Actually, I don't think... I think if I remove this Wi-Fi antenna, I can probably just yank this... Uh, there you go. Last time I tore this, so I'm not going to let that happen again, hopefully. And maybe I can just kind of lift it up a little bit here. Oh, okay, that needs to be taken off. Okay, and then let's see if we can kind of just lift it up a little bit, and hopefully, I know that I'm probably blocking your view, but... Um, Maybe we can lift this up without doing too much damage. Or, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to stick. I'm going to get lazy again and stick this here. That'll be the heat sink. Then I'll cover it with Kapton. I don't think that'll be sufficient. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Lazy man wins. Okay, so now I'm going to put that transistor back and hopefully everything's going to be golden. So. I'm going to cover these connectors again, make sure that everything is almost covered to the max. I don't really want to burn anything because I don't really want to have any more extra work than I already have. Little work if possible. Okay. So. Fingers are burning. That's what I really need is some some heat resistant gloves. Uh. Okay, I think that's okay. Maybe this is actually not a great repair here. Okay, so that's pretty tight. Um, that looks like it's connected, uh, so let's just diode mode it and let's see if we can get something good. If we get 0.76, then we're in, we're in business. If not, then we are not in business. 0.62. Okay, that's good. So I think we're good, actually. Um, so I think next step is really to... 0.25. Okay, next step is should I replace that diode? Um, let's not replace it unless I actually have to. So let's let's fire it up. Let's see if we can get above one percent, and then and then we'll we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, I don't want to rip anything. Everything. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Okay. So let me clean it up a little bit. Hopefully this is the end of it. Maybe I'll clean it up with some IPA after it's done. Um, yeah, this looks good. Okay, so let's put this back. And then let's put our screen on and test it, alright? Okay, so I plugged it in and I'm getting 1.46 amps on the ammeter now and I got the, you see it, the battery icon. Um, so I'm going to let it charge here for a little bit and let's see if we can get up to above 1% and then I'll I'll come back and update this video and hopefully that this is the end of it. But uh, I'm going to update it anyways. Uh, let's give it a few minutes. Okay, so it started up. Uh, as you can see, the percentage is now at 4% and we are drawing 1.27 amps on the ammeter. Um, 
Uh, I think we're gonna be good here. So we're just gonna I'm gonna let it sit and let it charge all, all the way up until about the uh, 100% or something like that. 50%. I think yeah, 50% will be all right. Um, but it's definitely charging at the proper current right now, and um, yeah. So I think that's how you fix this thing. That is usually the case. I don't. I you, you know you figured Apple would have learned from the iPhone 5 series pry damage the battery pry damage but I guess um their whole thing is that they don't want people to fix these things anyways uh but um yeah you figured that they would probably move these components away from the battery connector right but they put it right back I mean they they did pretty good with the 6 and the and the and the 7 uh yeah the 6 and the 7 series but now they added this I2C line for the battery percentage and they put those components right next to the battery connector and uh, this is probably going to happen quite often I imagine um, that sucks that sucks for repair shops hopefully you'll do it once and never again um, but uh, it's good for us because we get to repair these things <laughs> um, so that's how you fix it um, let's see we're at 5% now we're at five percent, so we are golden grams, I think. Uh, and I think that's it. Um, the home button vibrates, so it works. Uh, that's it. All right, thanks for watching.